Hi guys, Remagwana here, and today I had an idea for a completely new type of video series. Uh, I've seen plenty of these videos in my recommended feed, but I've never considered doing my, my own until today, and that is a reaction video. Uh, for those of you who don't know what reactions are, they're basically videos where you watch another video and react to it, so it's kind of like videoception if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be reacting to the latest Brawl Stars uh, Brawl Talk video, and I will uh, put a link to that in the top right corner of the video as soon as I get around to watching this video again. Alright, so let's get straight into the reaction. Okay, so here's the video. Uh, I'm not going to be talking, I'm going to try not to talk too much and not pause the video too much um, so that you guys can enjoy the video itself. Anyways, here we go. We are back from our summer break and ready for the update. Right, Danny? That is correct, my human friend Paul. What the? What's what that? What the hell? Oh my goodness gracious, that is. That's gonna haunt me. That's gonna haunt me in my ne nightmares from now on. Jesus Christ, animatronic Danny. Who saw that coming? Meet Danny Tron 3000, a genius robot I developed myself, oh, people of presenting the actual real Danny's here. I see. Good job, Danny. Uh -huh. Welcome to Robo. Nice robot. That is such a creepy ass robot though. Okay, what is this? No, oh, this is Bell. Bell's making something. Oh, it's another robot! And who is this? Oh, these are the new are these the new robots that Oh wait no, I think Yeah, I think that, that guy you saw fighting that robot is like the new brawler, and this robot is probably like hinting towards the remodel of robots. But it's interesting that Bell made it. Oh wait, I have to clean up, huh? Back to the Wild West. But not entirely. We introduce you to the Robot Factory, oh. the home of all those crazy robots you see in Star Park. I see. It's also okay. a perfect link to our newest chromatic brawler, Sam. Oh, yep, there She's he is. The second member of Bell's trio and literally her partner in crime. Okay, he also yeah. has some personal beef with all the robots in Star Park. Oh, His maybe place that's what he was very it. unique to Brawl. When equipped with his knuckle. Whoa, did you see that? He did twelve. He did two hits of twelve hundred damage each. Sure, his range seems pretty small, but like, geez, that's a lot of damage. He does a stronger close range so that's 2400 damage for each shot. Oh, a piercing when he shot, okay. Them, his attacks are not as powerful, but they are faster. And while he oh, really? his knuckle busters, his super bar is always full, meaning he's the first brawler who already starts with his super available. Activating ah, okay. his super with his knuckle busters on will throw them and will damage everything on their way. He also gets a temporary speed buff. I see, look, he... the super again, will then oh, so I see. So basically, he starts with the super charged up. And he deals that that big damage that you saw, those twelve hundred damage. But when he uses a super, he he only deals six uh, twelve hundred damage per shot. So like his damage literally gets cut in half. But when you charge up his super, he'll have the what was it knuckle busters? He's calling they're calling them. Yeah, they'll have, they'll, they'll have the big damage again. So I, I see how this works. Okay. His knuckle busters back to his arms and damage everything on their way back. While Sun doesn't uh. have his weapon, you have to charge his super in the normal way by hitting his attacks. Right. Or he can collect his knuckle buster again. So oh, you could just collect it and it, get, and it instantly recharges your super. Oh my gosh, that's cool. And it also heals you apparently. Or maybe that's a star power. I don't we know. We get the Caesar Sam skin at the last tier of the Brawl Pass. Oh, look at that. And the first king of that's the Brawl Pass nice. is Desperado Pope. Whoa, Desperado, that looks cool. Completing the Calamity Gun will have Lola's Lola as the power Oh, a new, a new, a new, a new, a new Lola skin, skin, nice. Also new new Crow skin as well. Oh, look at Squeak! Squeak is a rabbit! Squeak is a rabbit! <laughs> oh, he's so cute! Kind of goofy looking too. It will make sense, I promise. <laughs> Stonks path! Ah, oh, yes! Embracing the meme culture, I see. And Mecha Mortis, our newest 299 gem skin with. Oh, he looks really cool! And Yo, look at him! You get his spray, profile picture, and a whole set of his pink. Wow! Pink. Oh Jesus! Okay. Also, it will unlock two color variations in the shop for forty-nine gems each. And wow! Lastly, That's a lot of skins. Leon, which will be available around Halloween. Oh, new! Oh, this. Th I think this skin was like showcased in an animation. Like it was like leaked in, in an animation uh, a while ago. For I think was the previous Halloween update. I do remember making some videos around that time. So uh, do check those out if you haven't. Anyway, so yeah, this was seen in the animation for the skins. Um, so yeah, that was finally being released. In a different update, 
And speaking of skins, all the robots ah, are yes, the robot they are a lot more polished, shiny, and rolly. Nice, nice. We'll be getting another awesome 3D animation. Yeah, we already saw this. People were talking about this animation. They, they found it. We'll be getting a new PV Oh, a few new PV. You must keep Avid alive by collecting coins across the map and protecting him from the I waves see. of bots. All right. If Avid is defeated, you lose the game. Okay. You and Avid survive until the end. Oh, look, look, he's asleep. So I guess as long as you don't have a coin collected, then he uh, it won't be activated. And as soon as Apic dies, the game's over, right? You and there's a timer, okay, so it's not unlimited. Be a walking around and doing some work. So we'll be in a team of four. Okay. But also make sure you always have him in your sight. I see, I see. You can swap brawlers in Power League. At the preparation screen, you can oh, that's accept cool. a request or receive a request to swap a brawler. And if everything looks great, you can accept it. You that can request to swap really Okay, that's cool. Secure a good brawler first. But that makes me wonder, will if you if you if two people swap brawlers, will the get will, will the gadgets and star powers and gears and stuff, will they all change? So like will you um will you also obtain obtain those gadgets and star powers or will it just be the level that your brawler is at? Because I'm guessing it's it's it will be the level your brawler is at. So like for for instance if you swap um some with someone who has a power power level nine brawler, but that brawler for you is power level eight, you'll, you won't have any star powers. I think I don't. There might be a glitch that ha where it, where it happens, but like, that's probably what's gonna happen. But if they are just better than you with that brawler, that's cool. You can swap brawlers. We'll preparation. You gotta be pretty quick about it, though. Later in September. Oh, and second brawler. Gus. Yo, he's a true gamer. He hasn't touched grass. <laughs> Besides his catchy vibe, <laughs> Gus is actually a support brawler with the ability to heal All right. and protect alive. For every okay, hold on. Gus hits, hits so. Okay, let's. So his attack deals thirteen eighty damage, right? Pretty long one. range, I must say. Kind of looks similar to Bonnie's range. The next attack you hit will drop a ghost in the map. If your right. allies touch this ghost, they will heal. Okay. You can drop multiple ghosts in the map. With his yeah. super, he's able to cast a shield either on his allies or on himself. To cast it on allies, you should aim and hit your shot. To use it on yourself. You just tap the super button as if you would be auto aiming. Okay, so you have to auto aim to give yourself a shield, or you have to sh yeah, but you have to aim to give um um your teammates a shield. All right. Great news! If you look forward to unlocking him, he will be. Oh, he's a super rare brawler! Let's go! Oh my god, he's finally finally a new super rare after so long. But if you but I feel like Gus should be more more of an epic or a mythic because like like super rare for for his kind of uh, rarity, he definitely should be. Epic, at least. It's now every eight weeks in oh, thank goodness. <laughs> we are that, that's that's great, that's great, that's great. That's great. And you'll be able to support them too by hey, the more new pins, let's go. New challenges and quests Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, let me turn the turns off. Right. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 new pins. Jeez, I'm, I'm wondering what these are though. I think there's like ha Halloween pins there. I don't know if you'll be getting those for free or the, or they'll you have to like buy them from the shop or something. I do I do like that pumpkin pumpkin pin? That probably looks really cute. The profile picture or pins from the shop. New challenges and quests with new sprays and profile pictures. Right. As okay. Before. So maybe yeah, it might be like quests. It's also available in Showdown. New Ooh, gadgets new maps. for bus and. Crew. Oh yes, new gadgets. Let's go. Price reduction. And. Wait. What did, what did he say? What did he say? New gadgets for bus and grief. Gears price reduction. And ah. a message from the future. We managed to travel in time and get Frank from the future to tell you a bit more about what we have planned for Brawl Stars in the future. Okay. How do you do, fellow kids? Hey, okay, that's from the past. Fellow Sorry. kids, Frank, let's go. So, we're all aware that we have some players who are concerned about the future. What mm. do you have for the community? Well... For the last few months, we've focused on designing and building our high-level roadmap for the future. And this ah, right. is the first time ever we are talking about our future plans with you, our players. Why are we doing this? We feel there's a disconnect between you and us, and we'd like to resolve it. So, okay. let's talk about the next update. To get this out of the way, yes, we are going to rework years. We didn't plan to make changes to the system this year, but we understand your feelings and frustrations about it. Oh, we yes. share most of them. Okay. Consequently, we had decided to prioritize this and push back other changes. Right. In fact, we are going to make some changes already in this update. We oh, really? We the cost of craft gears and gear levels by about 50% in the coming update by reducing the amount of required scrap 
and tokens. Okay, so, that's good. That's good. Should we talk about October a little? Right. So they're reducing the cost for um, of like crafting gears. I think that's what he said, which is good because like currently. It takes it, it it takes so much scrap and so much gear tokens and also so much uh, so many coins as well just to upgrade your brawlers. Um, so yeah, that, that this has been a major issue. Like you know, the whole the whole issue about gears is that they they just make the game so expensive to just progress through. So this is good that they're redu that they're cutting the the cost by half. Um, so that, this is good. They de we definitely need. Uh, we definitely need the gear rework. Like, it's pretty much all all that er anyone can talk about in brawl stars. We're going to simplify the flow on how you acquire gears mm -hmm. and decrease their cost. And at the same time, we're going to introduce additional, more specific gears, which won't be usable for all the brawlers. All and right. can we talk about what happens to existing gears? We're pretty much hitting the reset button for gears and we'll reimburse all existing scrap, gear tokens and already crafted gears to you. Okay. This will happen in coins and coins will play a much bigger role in how to Oh, so basically they're they're removing all our gears and scrap and uh, gears and scrap and stuff and refunding it with coins. Okay, I see. But um I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know how that will f affect some players because I know some players have already managed to max out their accounts, to, like, you know, completely upgrade absolutely everything. So is it is it is, is it just gonna re, is it gonna reset absolutely? Is he saying we're gonna reset absolutely everyone? Because like if it's gonna reset absolutely everyone, I don't know about that. I mean, let's just see what he's got, what we're gonna say. Gears in the future. This essentially allows you a full respec for gears once the October update arrived. Refunds will be based on the total amount of scrap and gear tokens you've collected since we've introduced them last year. Cool. Oh, that's Kairos. <laughs> oh, they they. I think they watched his video about gears then. We're also reworking the existing PvE weekend modes. We ultimately don't believe they're mm. fun anymore, and we're going to replace them with a new, more dynamic PvE system, which will introduce new features, including multiple stages, persistent power-ups, different environments, and new types of enemies and bosses. Almost like That's interesting. Uh, cause, yeah, the PvE modes have, been, have existed in this game for like ages now, and I do agree, they are getting a little boring. So this is interesting that they actually decided to focus on this as well. But that's cool, that's cool. They're, they're, um, um, I think those PvE modes have definitely needed a, some sort of rework or something for a long time now. So yeah, this is good. ...place where we'll be able to tell a story in the future. We also have plans beyond October. A story? That's right. Mm. Stop the timeline becomes a bit more uncertain at this point. However, there are a few bigger topics we would like to tackle. And the first one is affecting the current progression system and its reliance on luck in order to unlock brawlers. Mm. We would like you to have more say in which brawlers you unlock and when as well as which brawlers you would like to upgrade. Okay. These changes have a huge impact on how brawlers played and will give every player a clear goal in the game. Right. We'd like to get these changes into your hands as fast as possible. And there are more things that... Hmm, that's... Uh... So I think what he said there was that he's trying to, he, they're, trying, they're trying to make it so that it's easier to unlock and upgrade brawlers. Uh, that's interesting considering, you know, unlocking brawlers is not an easy feat. Like, it's literally, well, it's literally all about luck. Um, you don't get to choose what brawler you unlock, it just, it just kind of happens. So, that's interesting, they're, they're saying that they're, they're, they're going to make it so that it's easier, I guess, to unlock and upgrade new brawlers. I don't, I don't know how they're going to do that though, I'm, I'm curious to know how they'll do that. Yes, we would like to make it more meaningful to improve playing certain brawlers. The concept of ah. mastery. Think clearer goals, rewards, you get it. Additional items on our current list of things to do are matchmaking, a better sense of collecting cosmetics and more ways for you to show them off, oh, really? as well as tools for you to share cool moments in the game on social media directly from within the game. We'd also like to introduce ways for you to recruit your friends, and yes, in parallel we've started working on a system to report other players for things like grief play. We're likely going to roll this one out rather sooner than later and start the process of collecting data and get a sense of the volume of reports. This mm -hmm. isn't a complete list of everything we'll do, but these are the topics currently taking the majority of our focus. You can learn more about upcoming features as usual here in Brawl Talk. And with this... Oh I yes, and here, and here are the new true, uh, true Gold and Silver skins. So that's Edgar, Byron, Otis, Griff and Squeak. So I think, I think that means every single brawler, you know, currently in the game right now has True Gold and Silver skins, or will have True Gold and Silver skins. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Like and subscribe and see you in October. And giveaways! Ah, oh, so this is the skin Brawl that's going to be give, given away. Be giving away so I see then. Hashtag Bunny Squeak giveaway, 
here on YouTube or any social media and read the rules to participate in the giveaway hosted by the Brawl content creator. Okay. And this is an And then you got the art takes. Okay, so wow, that's actually that's actually quite a good update I would say. It's very interactive. Like they've they've mentioned like a lot of things that they wanna work on. Like uh, and they and they've definitely addressed I think they've definitely addressed a lot of um, issues that the play the players have been bringing up in in the past couple of, of mo weeks and months. So yeah, good update I'd say. Um, and that is going to be the end of this of this reaction. So I apologize for making this video so long. Uh, this re reaction videos are probably going to be like you know last for ages, just like just like this one. But um, yeah, I did I did enjoy making this video, and I will definitely make more reactions in the future. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.